Uh, this is a question for both of you. Um, what qualities do you think makes for a good antagonist or villain? Especially uh, James, because you know, we, you have, you've uh, introduced some characters that are kind of like, you take an Autobot and you kind of twist them around in the IDW continuity so they're like a getaway or star saber. Yeah. What qualities make a good yeah. villain? Villainy. <laughs> <laughs> Taciturn. Well, I, 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 I will give you. I will give you what I can. My personal, and I don't always follow it. And I'm sure that if somebody on the internet is going to look me up and go, "Oh, you can do it there, and you can do it there." But what I try to do is my rule for a good villain. And Jesus, God, I'm waiting for Marvel to learn this in their movies. They've, they're sort of getting there, but the villain. This is a secret, kids, by the way. <laughs> Write this down, and you, you too will be great Transformer writers. <laughs> the villain is the hero of his story. No villain thinks they're the bad guy. They think they're the good guy. Yeah. Uh, what is it Shakespeare, a villain, even a villain doth have his, his reasons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's how you write a good villain. Basically, he's a hero who just took a, one step in the wrong direction. And it all went south from there. Yeah, that, that, that's literally what I was going to say. Probably less articulate than that, <laughs> but yeah, that was exactly what I was going to say. Um, and 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 from that, you can you've got to put you've got to, you've got to put themselves in their head and think. Okay, well, given that they think what they're doing is right and justified, as they take each decision, which usually takes them further from that goal, or, or <laughs> from from your perspective as a reader, makes it harder to. Uh, um, to empathise, um, you've got to, they've got to be able to justify that, you know, why they're doing that. Right. Uh, Getaway is a case in point. I mean, he he took progressively worse decisions, and and often, you know, it can be it can be a, a spiral of um, successively um, successive bad decisions, um, and then that opens up a whole new. They box themselves into a corner. I'm talking really about Getaway here, <laughs> and they and they become more desperate and and so on. But um. Yeah, they, they, they've got to... If you can work out why somebody would, would, would feel justified in taking the actions they're taking, then, um, then you've got their end goal in point, and you've really unlocked the key to their character. When, when Nick and I did um, Last Stand of the Wreckers, um, we, had different, we had a different editorial team then, and, and they were really, and, and rightly, um, obsessed with, with Overlord's motivation. You know, it was, it was like a prison break story. He'd, he'd taken over a prison complex and he was torturing people, um, which, was, which, was, which was viscerally satisfying for, for three seconds, but then yeah, well, beyond that, well, why is he doing that? And what, 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 how would he define victory? You know, what's his end game? Um, so I think that's the, that's the key. Thank you.